Hello boys and girls and welcome back to art. We are in week number two and last time I saw you, you guys did the most amazing pictures of the bear and I have my bear right here and I was so surprised at how well you did. I decided to do picture number two and we're going to see if we can make this one look just as good as the bear. Okay, so today you'll need a piece of paper and you'll need your pencil with an eraser. I also have my sharpener back here, and that's a good tool to have as well because when you're doing pencil drawings, you'll find that the tip of the pencil helps you make little detailed lines, and using the side of the pencil helps you create shading. But when you're doing both of them together, you'll find you're gonna wanna sharpen your pencil a lot. So if you can find one of those little handheld sharpeners or one of these turn ones or an electric one, that's great too. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started on this picture, we're going to be making a little beautiful wolf. Okay, all of our animals in January are gonna be winter-like animals. So what you're gonna do is let's first map in right in the middle, a nose, okay? Now I'm gonna make a shape, kind of like a circle, but I'm gonna make the top a little bit bigger. Do you see that? Not much, just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna take my pencil and add a curve over here and a curve over here, because that's gonna be the little doggy's nostrils, okay? And what I'm going to do is color the nostrils in dark. And this is very similar to the bear. Okay. I'm then going to take my pencil and I'm going to shade in the nose. And if you notice, I don't worry about messing up because I can always erase it, right? And then I'm going to take my eraser. Just add a little light here and there, just to make it look like the nose is shiny, just like the other animal that we did. Okay, pretty easy, right? So now what I wanna do is around the nose, I wanna create the, the wolf's snout, okay? So I'm gonna put a line under his nose like this. You see that line? And I'm gonna go around his nose on both sides. Now I didn't fold the paper up the middle like I did the last time, but you could, and that helps you as an artist see the right and the left, okay? But I think we can just start drawing. And notice I'm gonna bring these up to create almost like a teardrop. That's sort of like the nose on the bear, right? And now I'm going to take my pencil and using the side of it, I'm going to shade in. It's called shading. Some fur. And I might take my eraser. Remember this little trick? Just to kind of help blend it in. Blending makes it look re more realistic, right? There. See the nose forming? Is you're gonna take this shape right here, the top of the nose, and you're gonna start blending it right into his eyes. Because we're gonna make the little wolf have his eyes shut. Okay, do you see that there? And now what I'm gonna do is take the side of my pencil and I'm gonna blend kind of like away from the nose. What I'm doing is I'm creating the fur on the side of his cheek. So let me do the other side. Okay, you're blending away. You're pushing away from the nose. Okay. And now I want to bring some of this darkness nose a little bit. There. Let me hold it up so you can see it better. Easy, right? 
And now what I want to do is I want to start to create the top of his head up here. So I'm going to take this darkness and bring it up and map it out. And this is now above his eye because his eyes are right here. His eyes are shut. See his eyes? He's thinking to himself. So I'm just bringing some of that shadow up. And this part here is his forehead. Okay. And if you look, all I did was scribble. Do you see that? There's no, there's no drawing there. It's just uh, scribble marks. So right up here, I'm going to put a line that's the top of his head. Do you see it? And his ears go up and then go down like that. I'll give you a second to draw that. And now the rest of the picture is basically scribbling like we did with the bear. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some darkness up by his ear. Let's put a little wiggle in there. And you can go off your line a little bit because he's, he's furry. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Do you see that? And let me do the other side. And sometimes you might have to stop to take a look at what you're doing sharpen your pencil and if you want remember here's that piece of paper I used last time as my little rubbing stick I can go in oh yeah oh look at that look how that just added some darkness up there so I might bring that down into the little doggy's face a little and add some shadow using the piece of paper look at that I st I'm really starting to see him now. And now I'm going to go around his body. And his body sort of takes up the rest of the paper because he's a nice little furry dog. Do you see that shape? And now, as an artist, I'm just going to map in some dark. And he has a little mouth underneath his nostril or I'm sorry under <laughs> underneath his nose just like that do you see and I'm gonna put some darkness all along the side of this paper because that's kind of his back and again it's just scribbling you see what I'm doing I mean anybody can do this look at that so I might take my piece of paper or tissue and help blend some of that in. And don't forget the other trick of taking the eraser and going back and adding some lines in by erasing. Do you see that? That can help you add some highlights. Because sometimes it can get a little too dark if you if you don't erase and add some lightness, right? Look at that. Okay, so I wanted you to see it from this angle. This changes the way it looks a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is right here where his chest would be, I want to add a little bit more um, fur. So I'm going to go in and add a scribble here and there. And that's all it is, is it's basically a scribble. And I think he needs, ooh, sorry, I'm going off the, the page there. Look at that. Oh, where am I? Right here, it's just a scribble. So let me go in over here. And this helps you add some patterns in his fur. All right, like that. And I think he needs a pair of eyes. He's missing his eyeballs right now. So I did originally want his eyes closed, but I think for my picture, since I added a lot of white in there, I'm going to add two little dark circles like that. And an eye on a dog is shaped like an almond. 
one of those little nuts that you can eat. So if you know what an almond looks like, which basically it looks like an oval with points at the end. Do you see that? And now what I might do is just add a little darkness just to clean it up a little bit. The last thing I want to do is right where his nose is. And a couple dark lines like that to add some whiskers on his face. Okay, so boys and girls, give the picture a try. Let's see if you too can make the winter fox or the winter dog. And you can also go back and work on your bear if you want to. And be ready for picture number three. And when you have the, the wolf or the dog or the fox or whatever you're going to turn it into finished, I'd love to see it. Please send me a picture in Seesaw. I was amazed at your pictures last week. And I will be here waiting for you for part three. All right, so have a great day, boys and girls, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.